Okay, today we're going to look at determining the molecular formula of a compound. All right, let's look at our first problem. So determine the molecular formula for which of the following empirical formulas and formula weights pertain. So the first one we have sulfur, nitrogen, and hydrogen, and it has a molecular weight of 188.32. All right, so when we do this type of problem, the first thing that we want to be able to do is add up the molecular weights of sulfur, nitrogen, and hydrogen. So, let's turn this in. Sulfur is equal to 32.06. Nitrogen is equal to 14.01. And hydrogen is equal to 1.0008. When we add these all together, we get 47.08. Once we know what the molecular weight is for each atom, we then want to find out how many times this number will go into the molecular weight that we're given. So we're told that we have 188.32, and if we divide that by 47.08, this will give us a whole ratio number of 4, which means that the molecular formula for this compound would be S4. N four H four. So <clears throat> if we look at the next problem, we have PF two. So PF two, same thing as before. Phosphorus is equal to thirty point nine seven. Fluorine is equal to 19.00 times 2, which gives us a total of 38. So 38 plus 30.97 gives us a total of 68.97. If we take our 68.97 and divide it, 137.94 divided by 68.97, this gives us a whole number of 2, which means that we have to take our PF2 and multiply it by 2. So multiply the subscripts by 2. So this whole thing here gets multiplied by 2, which means that we have P2F4. So that would be the molecular weight for um, the um, formula weight or the molecular formula for PF2. Let's look at another one. The next one we had here was CH2. And we're told that we have a molecular weight of 70.15. So if we take our carbon, carbon is equal to 12.01. If we take our hydrogen, we have 1.008 times 2, which gives us a total of 2.016. This is add these two together, 12.01 and 2.06 gives us a total of 14.03. Take this number here and divide it into 
the molecular weight that we're given. So we have 70.15 divided by 14.03. 14.03. This gives us 5. We take our CH2 and multiply it times 5, which would give us C2 H10. Okay, that's how you would do those type of problems.